Okay, I'm gonna make a video on a SYE kit for a 91 Wrangler. I didn't quite cut the shaft off far enough. And it's not engaging the four-wheel drive good. It's kind of making a little bit of a of a noise. And the issue is it's it's not it's hitting the back of the housing, so I've got to take a little more off that shaft. But that's not what this video is about. This is about the speedometer clock. A lot of people kind of don't understand how this works. But you've got this, this gear mechanism that your speedometer screws into. And if you look on this, you've got numbers on it. It corresponds to the number of teeth that you're using. And you're going to change this gear to match the size tires you're using. This is a standard gear for standard tires. I'm fixing to change this one out uh, to a bigger gear to run the 33 size tires I have on this Jeep. But this is kind of gives you an, an overview of what happens when you clock a speedometer in. So you're going to put your gear in that corresponds to your tire size. This one will eventually change. I just don't have it yet. You, you're going to install this into the housing on your SYE kit and you'll see notches and numbers on it and there's going to court like a 39 to 45 tooth gear and you're going to spin this. And a lot of people just pop this in and they don't realize you know that it actually is offset. As you turn it you can see the shaft for the speedometer cable get closer to the housing and further away as you turn it around. That's to accommodate different size gears uh, for your bell housing and your tire size. But here's what happens when you turn this internally. I've got the worm gear just mocked up on a piece of PVC off of a shop back, but it works good enough to kind of make this video. But as you turn this speedometer clock around to the gear size you need, you'll notice that the gear comes around and engages the worm gear. So that's engaged, and you would notch it down. Once you put your bracket on, this is this is where this one should be for this size gear. But you'll see as I turn it how the gear moves away from the blue worm gear. If I, it's going to be a little different for me when I put the bigger gear in here to match the the 33 size tire, so my speedometer is more accurate. But this is kind of what goes on. People just drop these in there, and then their speedometer don't work, and they can't figure out why. So clock your speedometer to the gear that you're using. That's engaged. And you can see that the gear turns. And it'll turn when I put the housing back on the Jeep and the speedometer should work fine. So anyway, a little quick video on how to clock your speedometer into your bell housing so that it works.